Hi guys, welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner. This is Diane, and tonight we're going to stamp out this little set from Hero Arts. It is called, um, let's see, it's called Nothing. No, that's not true. Haha. -ha. This little set is called Winter Time Fun. Now, I picked up this little set because, well, one, I love everything Hero Arts, and two, I wanted to, um, I really liked the images. I thought the images were super realistic looking. Hold on, I'm trying to get my ink as we speak. Okay. So what I thought I would do is I've had a request to show you what I mean when I talk about I always do a stamping to put away. Um, when I'm doing my stamp. So if I, I'm not planning on using this stamp yet. I'm going to use it later down the road. I already know that, but I want to see what it looks like because it may, it may challenge me to do it right now, you know? Um, but so I always, all my new stamps, I go ahead and I do a stamping. And yes, I don't know why I always, always, always smell them. The first thing I do is I just rub my fingers right over the stamps, all, each one, just to kind of get any film that might be on them off. I'm going to kind of go in each direction. All right. And then... Ooh, these are stuck hard too. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay them out in whatever order I see fit on the paper and stamp it out. I use my um, Misty for this, and I'll tell you why. Because this way I know I'm insured to get I'm actually going to move them up a little bit in case I want to cut some of these out with the um, feather scan and cut it another time. Um, I know that I can get a great first impression or second impression. And that's all I do. I don't take any care about where they're really going. I just kind of want them all to fit. If I can get them all the major images on half a sheet, that's great. If I can't, that's okay too. Right now, since this is so difficult to pull off, I'm just gonna pull them all off. And then, and I don't stamp out the sentiments um, when I'm doing the stamping, I strictly stamp out the stamp out the images, um, and that's all I really focus on for these for these stampings. Snowball, <laughs> that's kind of cute. A little snowball's kind of cute, and I'd probably never ever do that snowflake in black. So that's kind of silly, but uh, we'll do it this time. Okay, and I have one little bird up here. All right, now let me turn this set over and make sure I didn't miss anybody. So we have some snowballs, we have some sentiments, and that's really it. Okay, so these are my main characters down here, including one snowball and one snowflake that I'm not sure I even need. So then what I would do is I would just come on and try to make as many of them fit on the bottom half as I can. And the reason that I do that is so that I can turn the paper around and stamp it a second time. That way I have two stampings of these images on. That is definitely a sentiment and I don't need that. Um, I need my ice skates over here. They're bigger. My bird can go there. And my present. And go there. And I'm going to do the snowflake. And I'm not going to do the snowball. Okay. So I think I've got all these images on half a sheet of paper. I'm going to move some of my magnets around. And I'm going to stamp them up. Okay. 
All right, so whenever I'm stamping, I normally do two different stamps. Uh, I normally do two different sheets, is what I'm saying. I normally put all of my images on a sheet and I stamp it up one time with this ink. Whoa, I got a cord in the way here. Which is my favorite things. This is my favorite Copic friendly ink. So I'm gonna stamp this up one time with, let me get everything out of the way, with this ink. Now because this is a brand new stamp set, I expect it's gonna take two inkings, maybe more. But let's see how it looks. Move it over. And I also have to give it a pretty good firm press because my table is wobbly. It has no support. It's just a, you know, one of those little rubber fold out tables. So, Ooh, whoa. And it's gonna need a second stamping, which I was sure of. I'm gonna make sure everybody went back down where they belong. I think they did. If not, we're gonna find out very shortly. And then for this one, I really try to make sure that there's lots of ink sitting on here because I really only want to stamp it one more time. I don't want to do it three times. So let's see what happens again with that cord. And this time, I'm going to turn it around this way. And then I'm going to turn it around this way. It's where the heavier part of the table is. And just try to make sure that they're all really squished on there. And that is much better. Okay, so now we have one whole grouping of each one of these critters and the tree and the sled all on one side of this paper. So then what I would normally do is I would flip it over and I would do it just the way it is one more time on the same side of this paper but then I would leave them all stamped up and I would do it with VersaFine on my next sheet of paper and that's because that way it gives me one way to color it with Copics and one way to color it with watercolor and now I have that choice when I go back to use the stamp saying that I you know let's just say I sell the stamp in a year and have never used it I now can go back and use that image and either watercolor it because it's on VersaFine or I can Copic color it because it's not and it's on a Copic friendly ink. And I'm just noticing my Misty, my big Misty is quite dirty so I'm gonna have to give it a little scrubby poo this weekend. All right, let's do it one more time. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to turn it over to where the table's got more bulk, just to make sure. I don't want to do it a third time. Perfect. Okay, and then, and then, what I would do is if I were going to use any of those sentiments now, not so much the snowballs and all that, but if I were going to use any of the sentiments in a future project that I thought I might cut out, I would go ahead and lay them out in the middle and I would take my VersaFine which I'm not I'm not going to do this but I would take I would just lay them out and then I would take my let's just say I really wanted this one I would lay it out pull these up and just stamp that down in VersaFine that way I'd have the sentiment to put on one of these critter cards or you could actually do two and still make it fit on a card okay okay 
So you like you could put one up here and one down here and it would give you half that space so it'd be easy to do. So that's usually how I do it. And then from here, it's going to go into an envelope that looks like this. I get these off Amazon and it has a nice thick zipper on it. And it's going to get a label on the envelope telling me what this is and what kind of ink was used. And it's going to go into this sealed bag. I didn't open the envelope all the way. <laughs> and it's going to be closed. And then it's going to be stored sitting up like this. So that's how I stamp out my images when I get them. And that's how I store them in an envelope until I'm ready to use them. And then, like I said, this will have a label up here telling me that this is the Hero Arts. Um, what is it? Hero Arts wintertime fun set and then I can just go to it it'll be under all my hero art stuff I'll be able to find it pull it out color it cut it out and get it on a card okay and then if I have something specific like if I know I'm just going to use this tree I will stamp this tree out wherever I'm going to want the tree like in the middle in the middle of a paper and I'll stamp it you know one or t once or twice and I'll put that in there because that way I know I'll be using it as a focal point and um, the rest of the images won't matter, you know? So that's how I do it. And I do this with every single stamp I purchase immediately after I purchase it. That way it's there. I don't have to think about it. And then six months from now, if I've not used this stamp, I can go ahead and say, okay, I'll only ever use it maybe once. I'm going to de-stash it and get something I will use. That's how I do it, guys. I hope you found that enjoyable. If you have any questions, you can leave them below, and I'll talk to you soon.